Welcome to PC Mac. Today we are talking about how we can speed up a Windows 10 computer without any additional software. Before we start, I would like you to go ahead and click on the subscribe button. It's free and you can just go ahead and click on the bell icon for my latest videos. So let's get started. First of all, we need to open the run box. You can press and hold the Windows key from the keyboard and then press R to open the run box. Or you just need to go ahead and right click on the Windows icon and it will give you the option to open the run box like that. And we need to type a command here that is TEMP that will open the temporary folder of the computer and it will contain some files. So you need to just select all the files and then delete them like this and then continue to select all the files in one go the, uh, the shortcut key is control plus a or you can just use your mouse and select all the files in this folder now we need to open the second folder the second folder is m percent temp I'm percent and then do the same here as well delete all the files and skip if something is in use that will be fine no problem with it now the third folder you need to open is prefetch This folder contains the information of the software which are loaded in the computer. So you just need to do the same thing here. Control A and then delete all the files. And you can just skip the files which are in use right now and then close it. Now the fourth command is clean MGR. This will scan your drive and if there is any temporary and junk file on the drive it will clean that for you just need to click on ok as you can see the computer is running slow now it's scanning all the files now from here you can select the options just check these options empty the recycle bin and the temporary files and then click on OK and delete file to delete all these files now once this process complete we go ahead and try to remove the unwanted programs from our computer so the shortcut command is appwiz.cpl to directly open the program files from here and we can remove our programs now you need to go through the list which program you don't want so I don't want this program I'm uninstalling it Now the unwanted un uh, program installation is complete. So what we need to do just close this and uh, we need to go on to the next step. And the shortcut command is msconfig and press enter. System configuration utility for you. Now I'll guide you through all the tabs. So first of all, we need to click on the boot tab from here. And then we need to click on advanced options once you go into advanced option you need to put a check here once you check it you can use this drop down menu and you need to select the maximum number of processors in my case it's four so if you have a eight processor system just select the number eight you just need to select the maximum number of processors so all the processor can work at the same time and increase the speed of your computer so you just need to click on ok now in the next step that is services we need to first of all 
check this box hide all microsoft services then we need to go ahead and see which service we want to start on the system startup and which we don't want to start so you, you just need to uncheck the service which you don't want to start on your startup when you restart the computer so as i already uncheck it that is skype updater i also uncheck this tight vnc server and let's just uncheck this one as well wonder share and click on apply after that you need to go on to startup and then open task manager this option will help you to remove the programs from the startup like from here on the bottom right corner it will eliminate those programs and restrict them to load on the startup of your computer so it will really help you when you restart the computer the computer come back easily as you can see i already disabled some applications so you can easily check the applications which you want to disable just click on the application and go down and you can easily disable it from here now you can just close it and then the next option is the tools you can use all the computer tools from here and you can launch them right from this box like if you want to change the uac settings that is user account control just launch it from here and you can easily change the settings now we need to click on ok and then yes and ok one more time now i'm not restarting the computer so just click on exit without restart or you can just restart the computer according to your choice now the next step is you need to right click on your this pc and then go to properties once you go into properties you need to click on this option advanced system settings and then you need to go into this option that is performance and click on settings once you go into settings you can adjust on the best appearance you can select this option and if your computer is really slow you just go ahead and select this option adjust for best performance and then click ok once this step is done and still your computer is running slow you can just go ahead and go you need to click on advance and then click on change and you can select the paging size right now it's automatically ma manage the paging size files for all drive you can select it you can change by yourself here as well you just need to uncheck this option and right now the minimum allowed is 16 mb and the recommended is 1393 so the current allocated is 768 that is also less so what we need to do just click on custom size and then for the minimum allowed we'll select 100 and for the maximum we'll select 1400 because the recommended is 1393 so we can just go and click on set to set the memory and then click yes and ok so in this case we need to restart the computer one more time as well and if you want you can just restart the computer now in my case i'm selecting restart later and close this window as well so that's it from my end if you like my video please go ahead and subscribe to my channel thank you for watching bye bye take care have a nice day